in the meantime, though, Keith, uh, you do have large companies, uh, Chipotle's of the world, the McDonald's of the world, even paying bonuses. Uh, but it's the small businesses that are suffering minorly, and I'm, I know a lot are going to go to business, go out of business between now and September. Well, I'm already hearing that. They can't find workers. They can't find motivated workers. You know, handouts kill innovation. They kill incentive, and they kill profits. And I don't think President Biden has ever cut a paycheck in his life or had to make payroll. So I wonder very seriously if he truly understands what he's creating. All right. All eyes on tomorrow's uh, jobs report. You know, I got to say, I don't know, no matter what it comes out in, I think Jay Powell is going to find a way to stay the course, in part because there's a lot of speculation that he will do whatever it takes for President Biden to show the president that he's a trooper, that he's going to force this woke agenda because he wants to stay in the job, Rebecca, and that has me worried. Yeah, I mean, this is moving way beyond. We've seen the papers that have come out from the Federal Reserve this year about, you know, um, different, you know, just, you know, basically types of employment that they're seeking. And so this is way beyond unemployment and inflation numbers, which is their mandate. And any time we're getting the Fed to expand beyond its mandate, we're going to have, um, you know, repercussions for that. And and I don't expect, Charles, even if we have a missed tomorrow on the, you know, 675 to 700,000 June job numbers. I mean, it's the 4th of July week, and I think the market is going to largely slough it off because of the Fed's accommodative policy right now, but um, it, we, th there's a reckoning, you know, there is a reckoning. It takes taxpayers to pay taxes to pay unemployment benefits. So there is this ideology that we can all just sit around and watch Netflix all day forever into perpetuity, and that is not reality, and we've got to get back to work. Although, Keith, the modern monetary theory says it can be your reality, <laughs> and I think President Biden believes it, and I don't know if Jay Powell believes it or not, but he's certainly working toward it, and in, in part, I think, to keep that job. Well, I think he is. I think that the Fed lost its plot a long time ago, as you know, and, and I think that he is really flying by the seat of his pants here. Everybody knows the emperor has no clothes, so to speak, and I think inflation is way out of control. I think they've already caused the next crisis, so they better get through this one first. Keith, uh, what are you looking at? Uh, are you going to make some changes uh, now, or are you going to wait for tomorrow when the number comes out with your portfolio? I tell you what, we've had a relatively quiet day. Uh, Palantir sell-off concerns me a little just because the psychology of the stock has changed, but that's a buying opportunity. McDonald's strikes me as a really key play in here because it's growing technology faster than it's making burgers. That's great for the bottom line, even as the top line grows. Yeah. Keith, Rebecca, have a great 4th of July. It's always a pleasure to have you both on the show with us. Uh, anytime Thanks, you can make it, it's, a, it's an honor for us. Somebody